Few cities have enjoyed the amount of attention and questionable favoritism from Joe Biden quite like Milwaukee. His pandering began almost immediately. Biden chose Milwaukee for his first official presidential trip to promote his controversial COVID relief plan. This wasn't a one-time fluke. Biden returned last December and again in March, shortly after securing the 2024 Democratic nomination. And unlike his usual quick exits, Biden didn't rush back to the White House. He stayed overnight in the city's lavish Fister Hotel. Biden's repeated trips to Milwaukee reveal a clear agenda, courting key swing states while neglecting broader national issues. This pattern highlights where his true priorities lie. Not with the American people, but with partisan politics and cozying up to strategic urban centers. Politico reports. In fact, his administration always seems to have a presence here. Vice President Kamala Harris, Democratic National Committee Chair Jamie Harrison, and a handful of cabinet officials have also visited Wisconsin's largest city just since the start of the year, promoting various initiatives or federal dollars directed its way. The only problem is, Milwaukee isn't returning the affection. Not even close. And that could be a big problem for Biden. Polls suggest the president is trailing his 2020 performance in the city and surrounding county. In Wisconsin's April Democratic primary, his performance within the city limits lagged well behind the rest of the state. The threat is in plain sight on the north side, amid the theatrical black walls and candy red barber chairs of Zoe's Barber Elite and B. The idea is for barbers like Lorenzo Davis, the owner, to serve as ambassadors for voting in their communities to help reverse what the group sees as the disengagement of black men from the electoral process. Davis, for his part, appears to be sold on Trump. He's about business, Davis said to me when I asked who he planned to vote for in 2024. I agree with him that we should have more American-made products. There's an obvious reason behind Joe Biden's excessive Milwaukee visits, black voters. This influential group can determine if Wisconsin stays blue or flips red this fall. Yet, there's serious doubts about Biden's broken promises raise concerns about his campaign. Despite Milwaukee's Democratic leanings, Biden faces a real danger. A lackluster turnout among black voters here could cost him this crucial swing state and jeopardize his entire re-election bid. Biden's desperate attempts to court this voting bloc reveal his increasing electoral risks.